Hi everyone. So today I wanted to touch base on the pink sauce. I'm going to end up making a whole subdivision on my channel called Tardy to the Party because I know this is a topic that people have been touching base on probably for like the last three weeks. And I'm just now talking about it, I guess, because I'm now just getting comfortable with being in front of the camera. So anyway so <laughs> we'll put all videos that i talked about subjects late in the video called tardy to the party but anyway i want to talk about the pink sauce lady um her name is chef p and she's from miami and she made this pink sauce and that went viral and it went viral for viral for all of the wrong reasons and the thing is um people were complaining saying that they were getting their products and exploded they were saying that they were receiving their products and it was spoiled um, they were talking about the nutrition facts weren't correct and like there were grammatical errors on their um, products or at least the pink sauce bottles and I mean like it on the one hand I feel like you know this was you know she could have done better with the grammatical errors and the serving mess you know serving sizes were messed up and um and they said there were inconsistencies with the color but um I feel like everyone's kind of really hard on her because, you know, it, it, it was a small business. Granted, she didn't know what FDA meant, and that was a red flag. But in the same sense, I people talk about, oh, I only eat things FDA approved. It's like, dude, the FDA approves a lot of stuff that we eat that is killing us slowly. But, you know, let's not go there. Um, I know that they were saying that the, not they were saying, I saw on her Insta, not Instagram, it was a video on YouTube somewhere and someone was showing that the FDA actually arrived to her house and confronted her because they were saying that she was actually manufacturing the pink sauce in her home. And she looked like she was terrified, like, oh my God, like what's going on? And then people were spreading like rumors that someone died. They spread rumors that, um, what else? That um, someone was like hospitalized, I guess with botulism or something along the lines of that. And one thing I can say, like she could have went about things, of right, you know, not put things on the conveyor belt as fast as she did and made sure everything was right. But on the same hand, I feel like everyone's so hard on her. And it's like, I went through her comment section on her Instagram, I'm not Instagram, her TikTok. And everyone's like, don't buy this, don't buy this, don't buy this, don't buy this. And it's just funny because I, I mean, I'm trying not to bring race into it, but I do feel like if she was a young white woman or, or a pretty white girl, period, and she made a mistake, I feel like everyone would have given her a slap on the wrist and they would have been like, oh, she made a mistake. Maybe she'll do better next time. And they wouldn't have been as hard on her. This lady did make some mistakes. And hell, like I know the bottles exploded. And if you told her, did she give you a refund? You know what I'm saying? Like if she's more than well, like happy to give you a refund and things weren't right, if the, if she did, like, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, if she was going to be willing to do that, that's not that bad. And then people wanted to drag her because of that and blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, it should have been refrigerated. I mean, there's the things we eat in this country, I, I'm pretty sure we, are, we have crazy immune systems because of all the fucked up things that we eat. Now, that's not me saying that we should eat that in a spoil. I'm just saying, like, everyone's so hard on her. And it's just like, well, what the hell do you eat? Like, you know, like, they act like they have this pristine diet. But any, at any rate... um Oh, damn. I thought I had my microphone plugged and I didn't. So it might sound a little bit staticky on this video. I, my apologies. But um, she said that she's making like some improvements. I even went on her website and I'm put the, I'm going to um, probably put the video right here. And I was scrolling. I wanted to purchase some pink sauce. It's like $20. And I know everyone's like, oh, it's so expensive. Listen, it's, it's y'all money. If you want to buy it and you want to try it, go ahead. It's your body. Nobody should tell you, oh, don't try it, blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Like, I'm going to try it. As soon as that gets right back in, in um, and uh, it's in her inventory, I'm purchasing it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to post a video and I'll let you know how it tastes. But, um, uh, yeah, so far it's sold out. So it's hard to, uh, purchase a bottle as of right now for whatever reason i don't know if it's like under construction or or um i'm not sure if um she's coming up with some new stuff but you know it's not available but at any rate the one thing i wanted to rant about is i feel like people are being extremely hard on her even now even though now she's trying to go about things the right way i i do believe that everyone's still just dragging this lady and talking about her um um talking about her um just like really bad like no one ever made mistakes 
you know, she's trying to do the right thing now. Um, Chef P, if you ever see this video, I am 100% on your side. I hope that your business thrives and I hope that you um, are doing well, even though you're getting all these comments that aren't the most, you know, desirable. And I hope that um, you kick ass with your business and that you, you um, sell as many bottles of pink sauce or whatever else you could create. Um, I'm just hoping that no major company ends up seeing this um, um, innovation, I guess I'll call it, and like um, apply it to their big business and everyone buys it. Like that's, That would be so disheartening, especially for her, especially to, for us as black women to see that happen, which it could. And um, I also see people like online um, making uh, pink sauce themselves and they're like, oh, this tastes so much better than the original. And it's like, did you really get it? Or are you just, just criticizing this lady just because it's the thing to do? And they'll make it. And sometimes it looks okay. Other times it's not. Um, but anyway, good luck, Chef P. Um, I will be supporting your business pretty soon as soon as you have some in your inventory. And um, everybody, tell me what you think about the pink sauce and um, my feelings on it. All right, have a good night, y'all. Take care.